What was the uh, origin of the teardrop tattoos? Typically a youth authority. So that if you spent uh, a number of years in youth authority, you had one teardrop. If the, the more years you spent, then you increased your teardrops. And uh, that, that to me, by my recollection, that's the origins of that. I mean, others may have uh, another understanding of that, but that is my understanding of the teardrop. Okay, because there's a contemporary definition whereby you get a teardrop if you murder someone, you get like a solid teardrop. I've heard that. Um, never seen it used myself. But, um, you know, amongst the Native community, it, it has to do with eagle feathers. So everybody has their own um, method of expressing um, their exploits. All right, so the question then, why do people get so many tattoos in USA prison? I don't know that it's necessarily um, just associated with prisons. If you go back to the origins of, of um, tattooing in general, I mean, George Bruchette, who's from the UK, was from the UK, is really the father of um, tattooing. He wrote an excellent book about it. He he dealt with individuals, for instance, that um, were in World War I and exposed to mustard gas. So the burns on their face, he would literally go back in and um, um, create eyebrows and uh, different features on the face so that unless you actually went up and touched the person, you couldn't tell that they were tattoos. So the carryover into prison, I think... Uh, is really a misnomer. You have sailors who had tattoos, and then you had bikers, of course, who sported tattoos. But it's an ancient, ancient art. Uh, many natives, um, you know, millennia ago, sported tattoos. So it depends. I mean, the reasons for people getting tattooed are wide and varied. Um, in my own case, I have tattoos that tell the creation stories of my people. And um, so... That's what tattoos mean to me. For some people, it's it's strictly uh, body um, ornamentation, and that's fine. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. So everybody really has their own reasons for getting tattooed. Um, as it relates to the gangs and their tattoos, you know, it's um, back in my day. You know, we discouraged uh, the tattooing because that identified you, and then eventually. Once you were validated, for instance, in other words, it became known by the administration, law enforcement, that you were a member of that gang um, and was validated, and then oftentimes what you would see is uh, that individual would then take um, the emblem uh, associated with uh, that particular gang. So could you talk about the AB hierarchy of tattoos from probate up to getting the full patch? Well, there really is. I don't know about presently, but I'm, again, you know, my reference point is back to the 70s. And um, so um, there were really no um, prospects associated with that. If you became a member of the Aryan Brotherhood, then you were entitled to wear the rock. And, um, and if you wore the rock without that, you were in big trouble. Um, I've seen actually the rock cut off of people, um, for that reason, literally removed, um, and not in a good way. But, um, so there are, are identifying characteristics. There are still those who I think who, who um, become tattooed, but they attempt to hide it amongst other tattoos. Um, you know, my shamrock is right on my ring finger, and uh, that's where I wanted it. Um, you know, I never, a lot of individuals uh, put the rock on their chest, and some on the back of their arm, some underneath their arm. It depends. Um, and you'll see that, of course, with, with pretty much all the groups. So Evolved Mindset says, what about Irish people with the tattoo? Well, the shamrock itself, yes. You mean that are incarcerated within the, the system itself and they wear a shamrock as a result of their Irish heritage? Yeah. That is, that is acceptable. 
what would happen if somebody that didn't think they were ever going to go to prison just patched themselves up with the full membership of the AB tattoo on the outs and then ended up in prison? Yeah, they would um, suffer the consequences of uh, having done that. It, it's always been a great mystery to me, um, you know, talking about tattoos, why individuals who have lived in free society would want to get prison-type tattoos to give the impression that they've been incarcerated, you know, that they've done time. And uh, that's a false projection. And, um, you know, the problem with that is, of course, that it catches up with you. And you said earlier they actually cut them off. Is, is that, is it, you know, you said you saw that? Was there a process involved there? Well, it's a very simple process. You just simply take a, um, a cutting instrument and you remove the tattoo. And is it possible to burn them off? It is. It is. But the burning them off is a little more difficult. It's, um, let's just say, a lot more efficient to simply uh, cut the meat from the body as opposed to burning it. Wow.